Well, it, it, let's talk something that doesn't have de novo. Something that's actually good. Where is it? <laughs> we have a we have an eight bit do controller here. Eight bit do. That is I, actually my eight bit do is the controller I used to play metaphor. Mmm. I actually I've been really enjoying. It. I I I've been um I've got the 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 what do you call it the trigger stop things enabled, and being able to. Mine does not have that. Oh, okay, okay. That was something they introduced in the Ultimate series, and I have the Pro 2. Mm, mm, mm. I, um, I really like it. I don't care about the back paddles. I'm, I've just never really been a back paddle person. But everything else... I like else... having the option. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mainly yeah. use it for just... I set the one on the left side to A. Mm. So I can, like, progress whatever dialogue options with just one hand. That's fair. That's fair. I just find so like, myself... Like, say I want to... Uh, it's especially nice when I'm streaming, so, like, I have my mouse clicked over to OBS messing with something, but I'm still reading the dialogue so I can progress the dialogue while I'm doing that. Mm, that's a good Assuming point. Assuming the game isn't one that immediately freezes when it's unfocused. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay. I, uh... I, that's I, all I, I use it for. I find myself accidentally pressing the button, so I just... I just, I just don't. I, keep I've it, uh, actually enabled. changed how I hold the controller because of doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, I now do it with my middle fingers uh, held up just below the triggers, so that I don't press it by accident. The, my middle fingers are what would rest on them. I use my pointer fingers for both uh, the top and bottom uh, rear buttons. Mm -hmm. Not two fingers. I use one to do both. Oh, um, okay, okay. I, I kind of got into the habit of using two fingers with um, playing racing games. Yeah, Just cause... Uh, if I was doing stuff that had a lot more intensive stuff with the back triggers and stuff, mm. I probably would start yeah. using two. Most of what I play is RPGs, and it's right. like, the stardom trigger is to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, like, if, if you're playing a racing game and you're playing with a manual gearbox, like... Oh, yeah, then you, yeah. you kind of have to, because that's your uh, clutch and pedal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so you've been enjoying it. Uh, I have been. You have the you have the newer version. I have uh, yes. one model older, which is the uh, Pro 2. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, solely because I like symmetrical sticks. Yeah, I that's get it. That's the only it. reason. I get it. I, uh, I've gotten used to the Xbox layout. I... If I have to be honest, I prefer the PlayStation layout, but I looked at the way the controller is shaped, and I'm not really a big fan of the shape of the symmetrical sticks they do. Like, the, the, the controller uh, the itself. The shape looks weird. It feels like it's a PS4 controller, honestly. Okay, okay. It feels very similar. Mm -hmm. Which is good for me, because the PS4 controller was my absolute favorite controller for years and years. Mm-hmm. Have you ever tried the um the PlayStation Five controller? Yeah, that's what I use in um uh Expedition Thirty Three, and in Persona Three. The the PlayStation Five controller. Yeah, the dual the dual sense. Okay. Yeah, it um, that's that's usually my it's like been, it's been my go to. It's been growing on me. It's definitely more comfortable now than it was when I first got it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I still think it's a little too big. I get it. Yeah, that's fair. Um, that is still my one complaint is that I wish it was just a little bit smaller. My um, one complaint is I do you know of a way to disable the trackpad on PC. Yeah, in, well, at least on KDE. Uh, like, is, is there a way, like, can you do it in like Steam input or anything? Cause I don't, I'm not using KDE I don't know right about now. Steam input. I just go to the KDE settings, go to trackpad and you uncheck a checkbox. It stops working. Mm, okay, I'll uh, I'll see if I can find something because that that's my biggest problem because I a lot of games use it as the as the start button for some reason. That you can remap the click to your actual select button, and I do do that. Okay, okay, because that is really annoying. It's like, what's the point of the select button if you're never going to use it as a select button? Yeah, you're just going to yeah. make me click the trackpad. And when you click the trackpad, it, like, moves the mouse just a tiny little bit if you have the trackpad That's why enabled. I disabled the touchpad thing in my KDE settings, because mm -hmm. games kept doing that. And some games, when you swap to, to mouse, they don't swap back. Which is Oh, fun. shit, that's right. Yeah, some games are really bad about that. Yeah, especially older games where Speaking they... Speaking of controllers, mm -hmm. uh, 
Exhibition 33's controller detection is very weird. Yeah, I... It seems to work consistently with Xbox layouts. But if I plug in a PlayStation controller post the game being launched, it's like a 50-50 if it's going to work. Uh, if I have Steam uh, input turned off, mm -hmm. the game will not see my controller at all, regardless. All right. I have to have on Steam input. Mm -hmm. And if I have on Steam input, the game will always think it's an Xbox controller, regardless of what it is. Uh -huh. Right. So I edited it in INI file to tell it, hey, always show PlayStation. <laughs> that works. Well, at least you can do that. That's something. Better than nothing. It has made me appreciate the dual sense a bit more. Mm. It's just it's just slightly too big. I wish it was just a little bit smaller. If you hold it the proper way of like using two fingers on the triggers, your hands slightly higher up, then it, this is exactly how it's supposed to feel. This yeah. feels like it was shaped for this. Because I use one finger, I hold stuff slightly lower. It feels just a little bit too big. I get it. Like, I haven't, I, I haven't touched this in, like, I would say about two weeks or so. But, like, I... I would say the best to get a feel for how I hold the controller, hold the controller the way it's intended, with two fingers on the triggers and your thumbs just resting on the sticks mm. on the dual sense. On the dual sense. Oh, on the dual sense? Like this? Yeah. Yeah. Now, take one finger off. Of the... Bottom two, your middle fingers off the triggers. Uh-huh. And slide your hands down, like, just a little bit to where the edges or the pads of your pointer fingers are resting on top of the L1R1. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. That's, I how, see. I, that's how I hold controllers. Uh... And it feels just slightly too big. I see. I don't know. I've kind of. If you grip it a little higher, it's yeah. That's what fine. I tend to do. So for me, like I, I usually will use a single finger on this unless I'm playing like a racing game. Um, so it's a lot more comfortable for me to to do this. Yeah. I also I do a weird thing where because of how I hold it, mm. um, I grip sticks by the bottom edge. What? The the ridge on the bottom of the stick. Ah. Uh. I put my thumb on top of that ridge, and that's where I grip the stick. Uh-huh. Because I'm usually pressing it up, down, left, right with that, and then I swirl it around. Oh. <laughs> I wish I had a good way to just show you. Yeah. Because it's it's very unusual, but I've been doing that since, like, the PS2. I that didn't realize I always the... grip stuff. I did not realize the size difference of these controllers until I went and held the, the dual sense. Like, this is actually considerably smaller. Yeah. Hmm. Again, my dream controller, which I, I've ordered and it still hasn't arrived like a month and a half later, mm -hmm. um, is an Xbox controller with symmetrical sticks and clicky buttons. Uh, do you have a picture of that readily available? Yeah, so it's the ZDO Plus. Okay, let's see if we can find it. ZDO Plus. Images. Here's one. This is the blue one. Let's see. There's also a can opener with the same name. Copy image. Discord. <laughs> so I didn't get this color. I got the uh, black one. Oh. So that's its default configuration. Oh, right. Like it was a modular thing as well, wasn't it? Yeah, so I one here is a copy image this way you can see how it is that is the worst uh, modular thing. that that d-pad they have there is the, the default one yeah, the default is... one's weird you can put a normal d-pad on it yeah okay i see yeah, the little kit to flip the stick comes with a normal d-pad as well okay that oh okay, right yeah, so you can replace the module with the left stick and D-pad and also the button module. Wait, hold on. Uh, can can you... be replaced on its own. Am I... The other stick module can be replaced on its own. Am I, like, imagining this wrong? Can you flip the other side, the face buttons and the stick? 
No, they're different shapes. The stick is a round module. The buttons are a square module. So they work okay. Fit. Okay. I just it kind of looked also, like it, and I was thinking cannot that's just insane. Left side with the D pad and stick, you can't just flip it around. Oh. it's not perfectly symmetrical. You have to actually put in a different module. They didn't think this through very well, did they? No, they should have just made it perfectly symmetrical so you can flip it around and then just invert the D-pad and mm. stick. I guess that would require more software. I guess, yeah. <sighs> Which I guess I'm kind of glad about because you don't need any software to use it. You can get an app on your phone, but you don't have to have it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's also got four back pedals. It's got like the Xbox Elite style. Ah, uh, yes, yes, Little yes. metal trigger things.